Hi everyone, this is Brian again. Um, today we're going to talk about a Ravenloft dom domain that I created. So if you're not interested in that, you want to hear about the standard domains, not something homebrew by me, you don't have to watch this. But if you're interested, uh, I'll kind of give you a brief uh, summary of it and uh, we'll go from there. Um, I am going to be using this will be based on Viking uh, uh, so it's a Viking world so I'm going to be using the saga of King Arolf Kraki uh, books on Vikings yes they're children's books they're inexpensive and they'll ta they talk about the society so and of course Hamlet and a uh, Scandinavian folk uh, story, West of the Sun, East of the Moon. I think I have that correct. It might be backwards. All right. Also, uh, I did a lot of Google Translate using Icelandic. I am not sure if I'm going to be pronouncing these things correctly, just like I mispronounced uh, pronunciation. All right. Well, I pronounced it that correctly. Anyway, um, so if you are Icelandic, please don't get offended, and feel free to uh, give the correct pronunciation down below. All right, so quickly, this is going to be a, uh, based a lot on uh, Viking Iceland, but the, they will be Vikings in this. Uh, Viking is the occupation, it's not a people, um, but people go a Viking there. The name of the land is Quitra Land, or Quitra Land. Uh, it's Quit. Uh, the H V is a Q U in there in that language. I think I have that correctly. Um, just a brief glance at this. It is an island domain, kidney shaped. There is. Uh, it's surrounded by mist. Um, I could see this being put into a frozen lands uh, cluster with Barovia, uh, Sanguinia, and uh, uh, I think it's Vol Volostok. I think you could also maybe put Falkovnia in that too, but we'll talk about Falkovnia in my next video. Um, in the center, there is a range of mountains uh, that are somewhat volcanic, and that is where the trolls live. And the trolls are similar to D&D trolls, except that uh, they look more like uh, traditional uh, folklore trolls. They're f very hairy. They got cow's tails, big noses, big ears, uh, you know, big round ears. Uh, just Google troll, you'll get uh, a Scandinavian troll, and you'll see what they look like. Um, the Dark Lord is a queen named Sigrid Valtsdoiter. Um, and she is probably the largest half elf you'll have ever seen. She stands around six foot six, which is 198.12 centimeters, and weighs 320 pounds or a little over 140 kilograms of muscle. Uh, she is half elf, uh, however, she's very pale. She has almost white skin, uh, long white hair and reddish eyes and her fingers are in somewhat claw uh, are somewhat claw like and she has uh, kind of pointed teeth uh, her father was the old uh, lord of of the island and um, she he uh, was able to find and I'm, I originally said drow but you could make this any other elf you want uh, who was in trouble and he helped her out uh, with uh, the promise that she would marry him. So she did. But this dwarf, uh, I mean, this elven lady was not a nice lady. And she uh, got into a relationship with Vot's uh, brother. And they plotted and killed Vot. So, uh, his ghost came to both uh, Sigrid and her brother Frodi, and they uh, they were told by them that she was the one responsible for killing him. 
Not knowing what else to do, she wandered into the mountains and came across Snorri, uh, who is the king of the trolls. Snorri normally was not a very intelligent troll. However, he came across a headband of intellect, which raised his intelligence to 19. And he was a powerful uh, enchanter and transmuter. And he came up with a plan. Like Vought's, uh, like Vought, he gave the price that Sigrid would have to marry him. He also taught her rune magic, and uh, Sigrid did become a rune knight. Part of the reason for her height. So uh, the plan was that they, the, the stepfather, who was their uncle, and uh, her mother would go out uh, hunting, and they would turn Frodi into a large elk, which means moose in European, so just remember that it's what we call a moose. Elks are what they call, we, they call a moose. And they would follow the moose, and at the same time he would change Sigrid into a giant polar bear. And Sigrid would attack and kill uh, the traitorous mother and uncle. Well, they did so, and it did uh, go off without a hinge. Uh, Sigurd did rip them into pieces. Um, however, when, uh, when Snorri went to change them back, it worked fairly well for Sigurd, but it didn't work very well for Frodi, and he got warped into a kind of a mixture between uh, both a moose and a human so an elk and a human, and became this giant uh, that could no longer function in society. We used to call these broken uh, ones in the old uh, uh, Ravenloft setting. And uh, naturally, Sigrid was not happy about this, and she really didn't have any intention of marrying uh, Snorri either, so she refused. And so Snorri cursed her. He cursed her to become when the sun shines a giant bear like she was before and only returned to her form in dark and as he cursed her the the island was pulled away and put into the lands of the mist and when she got back to the uh, towns uh, and the and the castle she discovered that the all the people were saying their gods were dead and that Regan, Ragnarok has happened. And uh, there's only a few of their gods left after Ragnarok. So uh, they now have a society where most of their gods are dead. Um, and she was made queen. And then the sun rose and she vanished. And all around the plain came a giant white bear who none of their weapons really worked very well on it, seemed to heal almost instantly from every one of those weapons. So now she uh, spends all of her uh, time either as a bear or as herself, going back and forth. Um, the, bear has, uh, the bear is immune to silver weapons, um, but uh, if injured by a, a arrow or a spear tipped with mistletoe, uh, she will be able to be hit, injured by regular weapons, uh, and her regeneration will not function uh, until the end of the next turn. So, to defeat her, you're gonna have to have a whole bunch of mistletoe arrow, uh, tipped arrows or spears. Um, or she can also agree to marry Snorri, or she can have uh, a suitor stay with her for uh, an entire year and then the curse will be broken unfortunately she's tried that and have torn them to pieces Siegfried uh, is a half elf and a rune knight and she's a 15th level rune knight um, and she knows several of those things and she knows how to use each one of the runes uh, well so that is my idea for this land um, Hopefully you like it if you decide to listen to this. Um, my next video, and I'm hoping I should be able to get a bunch out because I'm, I'm going to take off a few days 
of work and I got the uh, 4th of July holiday in there so I'm not working until Thursday so I should be able to get one or two more out uh, in the next uh, few days and the next one of course is going to be Falkovnia and I have great ideas for Falkovnia so uh, stay tuned for that thank you